Good evening, Marshall Town. When the rest of the world goes to sleep, we wake up. This is Alex Riddle, and, and you're tuned in to Marshall Town After Midnight. Our town, we know, operates on its own rhythm, its own timeline. But what happens when even that timeline seems to hiccup? I'm talking about the mystery of the missing Tuesday. Two days ago, we all went to bed on a regular Monday night, only to wake up to Wednesday. A whole day gone, just like that. No one in town remembers it being Tuesday. There were no newspapers delivered, and no Tuesday specials at Martha's Diner. It's like Tuesday never happened. I've got a pile of letters here, all reporting the same. Ben from the bakery says he prepared dough for Tuesday's bread, but when he opened the bakery, uh, the calendar said Wednesday, and the dough was overproofed. Ellie May, who keeps a meticulous diary, found she had no entry for Tuesday. Her page was blank. No memories, no traces, no evidence. It's as if Tuesday was erased from existence. What could have caused this? Some kind of town-wide amnesia, a hiccup in the space-time continuum, or something else entirely? We'll delve deeper into the mystery of the missing Tuesday and try to piece together the puzzle of this lost time. If you've got your own theories or observations, send them my way. As always, our lines are open. It's been said that the time waits for no one. But here in Marshalltown, it seems time has not just waited, it has skipped and hopped over a full day, leaving us all uh, scratching our heads. Was it an act of nature? Did we experience a town-wide bout of sleepwalking through Tuesday, or could it be something else? Mandy, who works the night shift... At the old mill, as says the logs she marked on Monday, were gone by Wednesday morning. Vanished, as if someone had used them, up on Tuesday, a day that none of us remember. There's a sense of unease, a question hanging in the air. What happened to our Tuesday? Where did it go? Could it come back? And if it does, would we want it too? One cannot deny the ripple effects of the missing Tuesday, confusion over deadlines, Appointments missed, birthday celebrations skipped, even our local TV station ended up airing Wednesday's shows. On Tuesday's schedule, Wheel of Fortune fans were very upset. But amidst all the chaos and confusion, there's an eeriness to it, a silence, a hush. As if the town is holding its breath, waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's moments like these that remind us of the charm, the allure, and the mystery that is Marshall Town, where even time can play tricks on us. As your stories and observations come in, one thing is becoming increasingly clear. The missing Tuesday wasn't a dream. It's a mystery, a puzzle, a riddle wrapped in an enigma inside in a Bologna sandwich. And that is our town, so Marshall Town, as we journey together into the night, into the heart of this mystery, Let's ponder if we can lose a Tuesday. What else might we find? What other wonders, what other oddities await us here in the small hours after midnight? As we navigate this curious occurrence, this temporal anomaly, it's fascinating to consider the possibilities. I have here a theory from Jim, our local mechanic. He suggests that a strong electromagnetic field perhaps caused by an unseen celestial event, could have disrupted our perception of time. Imagine that. Waking up to find your crops ready for harvest overnight, your students suddenly smarter, your wedding day past, a life as you know it, thrown off balance in the blink of an eye. It's an intriguing idea, a cosmic ballet, invisible to our A's, influencing us in ways we can't even comprehend. If that's true, could we be mere playthings in the hands of the universe, subject to whims we can't predict or control? It's a humbling thought, isn't it? it makes you realize how little control we really have, how much of life is governed by rules written in the language of the cosmos. But time, for now, has returned to its steady rhythm in Marshall Town, but the clocks tick as they always have, each second followed by the next predictable, constant. Yet there's a Tuesday-shaped hole in our week, a void in our memories. It has left us feeling both uneasy and amazed, puzzled 
and fascinated. If anything, the Lost Tuesday has opened our eyes to the peculiar charm of Marshalltown. It has reminded us that the ordinary can sometimes turn extraordinary. That routine can give way to mystery. And so, dear listeners, as we prepare to embrace another day, the question remains. Where did our Lost Tuesday go? What adventures did it undertake without us? And will it ever return to tell the tale? Only time will tell, and until then, we wait, we wonder, and we continue to delve into the mysteries that make our town so unique. So, Marshalltown, as we approach the dawn, remember, in Marshalltown, every tick of the clock us could bring a new mystery, a new marvel. And when it does, know that we'll be here, ready to journey into it, together. Stay curious, Marshalltown, and good night.